getting people to see that there's a need for change, um, to see what the big picture, the total picture looks like, um, and to understand what their role is in, in that big picture, how we all work together, um, and how we need to work together to bring that sort of change that, that agents like myself are trying to really push for. Um, and then once you get people to start seeing that, just connecting the dots for them, um, getting them to talk to each other, getting everyone at the table together at the same time, it's so hard just to plan a simple meeting sometimes, right, to get everyone there. Um, but those are some, some challenges that um, can be handled, um, but that's, that's what I think is sort of some of the big things that we have to tackle right now. Um, you can't force it. Um, that's first and foremost. Um, sometimes it's about timing, right? Um, and just waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, keeping your eyes and ears open. Uh, there's advocates all over that you can bring on. And um, just being positive, no matter what's going on, just having a positive outlook, knowing that eventually you will get there. Uh, continuing those conversations with people uh, and building relationships. So if you're positive, you can build positive relationships and eventually that's going to get you where you need to be. Find your passion. Um, everything that I do is because I'm passionate about it, um, whether it's my love for my career or the people that I'm working with or uh, the mission of my agency and wanting to support that mission. Um, I, I work through my passion. And so if you want to be a change agent and you want to be a successful change agent, you've got to discover what your passion is and you've got to really understand people and how to work with people, even if you don't like people, because I don't always like people, but I understand that we all have emotions, we all bring different stuff with us to work every day um, and everyone may not be passionate they may not be doing what it is that they really want to do so just understanding just basic human um, needs and the way that people operate each day is going to really help you um, help them build that relationship and it's going to help them to bring the change that they want to bring like I said just giving up too soon and I've learned not to do that I've learned that you can table things, um, but you don't have to give up on it. You can come back to it. And often when I table things now, I know it's gonna come back. You know, if, there, if things are going in a way where I'm like, eh, we probably shouldn't be doing it this way or we should try something different, um, I can take a step back. And I know it's gonna come back up again. That's, that's government, right? We're constantly evolving, constantly changing the way we do things and trying to do better. Um, so there's gonna be another opportunity. You don't have to be, um, the biggest, brightest, most powerful person in government to affect change. Anyone can do it right from where they are. Just know uh, what you're good at, um, know the people around you, and build those relationships. Start having those conversations, whether it's a small conversation, um, one at a time, and be involved, be present, don't give up, and uh, the good will come.